Yo, what is going on everybody? It is Tyler here bringing you some more Madden 24 gameplay today. We will be recapping the Tony Foster series, man. This will be episode 48, the finale. As unfortunately, we got bounced out of the playoffs, man. In the second round, the divisional round matchup against the Jaguars in Jacksonville did not go our way. Unfortunately, a tale of two halves out there, man. As we were up 21-3. to and then a bad decision late in the half to try to go get more points ends up with a Josh Allen interception. They go get a touchdown before half. And then another three picks from Allen in the second half led to a crazy ending. And it was a 49-35 final. So we had a couple late touchdowns with Tony, but it just wasn't enough, man. And we got smacked. And it was a quite unfortunate way to end the series, man. But at least we you know we got to the playoffs and had a fun year here. Our first year with the Bills. And as I've said before, man, I appreciate a lot all the support that this series had gotten, man, throughout these last, like, nine or ten months. It has definitely been tons of fun going through it. Technically, this was year five, but we only played the four seasons, of course. I had to, you know, figure something out in year four so that way we could freshen things up and get on a new team for the final season. But yeah, like I said, we will be going over just our final career stats today, seeing the different awards we won over our career. And then at the end, probably won't be too much, but I'll throw together just at least a few plays or some of the best moments from Tony's career. I just don't have enough time to go through a whole four seasons to get you know a whole highlight film together for you guys. But don't worry, at the end, I'll definitely at least put like maybe like the top five or ten moments that I can pull quickly and throw at the end of this video but without further ado we'll go ahead and get into it man we'll finish up these playoffs see who wins the super bowl and get through the off season and check out the stats so after the jags beat us they went on to the afc title game and took care of business against the raiders so they took out mahomes then on the nfc side the rams took down the falcons so their run as the seven seed Came to an end there in the NFC title game. So you got the Jaguars against the Rams in the Super Bowl. So that's Trevor Lawrence against Dak Prescott, actually, the starting quarterback for the Rams out there. I'd say the Jags most likely will go ahead and win this. Just a quick peek at the Pro Bowl roster. I can't remember if I actually showed this or not in the off seasons or not, but I mean of course we're, you know, making the squad. Best receiver in the league, man. Possibly one of the best to ever do it, Tony Foster. So before we see that Super Bowl winner, we have the yearly awards here for our final season. We'll have to see, was Tony Foster able to bring home his second career MVP trophy? Yes, sir. Let's go. Tony Foster. Not only was the first ever receiver to win the NFL MVP, but we go on to win it a second time. That is awesome to see. Great way to go out here. You know, if we couldn't get to that Super Bowl, man, at least Tony Foster won the MVP. Love to see it. So, of course, we get the Offensive Player of the Year here on the AFC side. And it looks like our teammate, Greg Russo, gets the Defensive Player of the Year. Love to see that, man. Well, folks, there you have it. I was wrong. Thought the Jaguars would get the job done, but nope. Dak Prescott and the Los Angeles Rams win the Super Bowl 34-14. to Dak Prescott gets that Super Bowl MVP there. Figure since we're in this screen now, might as well check out the other years and see, you know, what other awards we won, man. Offensive Player of the Year in 2023, which was our rookie year. So, of course, we got... Not just the Offensive Player of the Year, but Offensive Rookie of the Year as well. And in year two, man, 2024, we won the NFL MVP and then the Offensive Player of the Year as well. But yeah, man, that was wild winning MVP in year two. Then year three, they gave it to Jalen Hurts. We had to have been close to winning it again there, but just Offensive Player of the Year that season there. And then 2026, remember, was the year that I, you know, made up the story that we got suspended for the season and whatnot. You know, we just had to, you know, get through the season so that way we could freshen things up with a new team 
here in the final season where we were, of course, able to win our second career MVP trophy. We'll go ahead and check out some NFL records next. See, you know, of course, Tony Foster's name all over the record books. You know, we weren't, you know, able to play enough seasons to be able to get any of the career records, but have plenty of game and season records. When you check out the most receiving yards in a game, I mean, we're all over this. Dang near covering the whole entire list here. But I will remind you that we were with the Packers for these other seasons. So if it doesn't say 2027, then we were definitely with the Packers rather than the Bills. I wish it would, you know, keep, you know, the team on there that you were with at the time of when you did this. But either way, the most we got was 381 yards. That is the record. And that was in this most previous season with the Bills. And then, of course, you see the other top performances that we have had over our career most of these other ones with the Packers receiving touchdowns plenty of players have had five and we were able to do that one time this season it was absolutely insane getting that done but other than that I believe we did get four done at least twice but you know a bunch of other guys have done it as well so you don't see it listed here but at least we were able to get that five done at least once you know I wanted to try to get six but Unable to get that done either way. Still awesome to see us up there with these other Hall of Famers. And you go to catches. And we were unable to break this one. Super close to getting there. Brandon Marshall, of course, with 21 back in 09 is still the record. Tony was able to hit 20 twice in his career. But unable to hit that 21 mark. Quite unfortunate there. Would have loved to break that record as well. And of course, you see us down here with 18 a couple times. Of course, all this stuff was back when we were with the Packers. Now, with the Bills, it was definitely seemed like uh, you know more catches, but more yard or less catches, but more yards. Then, when looking at a season, all four of the seasons that we played are the top in the record books. Of course, it's a video game, so it's a little skewed and whatnot. And I tried to control this, folks. I lowered quarter minutes and all sorts of stuff like that. After each season, we started off at 12 minutes, then went down to 10, then went down to 8 for the last couple, but it didn't matter. We still were just going absolutely insane. Checking this out, 3,636 yards back in 2024, so that was year 2 when we won that MVP award. And then 25, we got 3,400 yards. His most recent season was 3,166, which I'm kind of surprised about, actually. I thought that it would have been more with Josh Allen but I mean we did have Diggs also on the team that you had to throw to a lot so it's kind of understandable and then back in the rookie season we had 2,411 receiving touchdowns in a season we had three of our seasons up at the top here unable to get that rookie season up there man just not enough touchdowns but in this most recent season with Josh Allen and the Bills we got 34 for the record. That is absolutely insane, folks. But we first initially broke that record when we won the MVP award back in 2024. As you see, we had 25 there, breaking Randy Moss's record of 23. And then we, of course, broke that a year later by getting 28. Now, even though we didn't break the record for catches in a game... We definitely got it for a season, folks, as we were able to break that 200 mark back in 2024 our first MVP campaign 222 catches in one season is absolutely insane folks we had 196 the year after that and 181 in this most recent season the only one we had with the Bills rookie year was still enough to break the initial record at 153 and to look here at our full career stats remember this is over four seasons 756 total receptions for 12,725 yards 100 receiving touchdowns on the dot that is awesome man 3,266 yards after the catch alone 84 yards was our longest reception of course that was a game winning touchdown make sure you stay tuned at the end you'll see a replay of that of course and that's an 83 games played man Take one last look at Tony's player card here. Of course, we were a superstar X Factor. We were able to get up to that 95 overall. And you see in the archetypes, we were a deep threat. 
but all around man able to get up to 95 for also that playmaker physical and slot as well checking out these ratings you see just how well-rounded tony foster was man just an absolute beast out there with the speed and the physicality as well so a quick overview of the year-by-year -year stats of course started our career in green bay so there you have it you can see it for yourselves i'm not going to read them all off if you want to see our career stats let's go ahead and hit that pause button and remember 2026 was the wash year of course we somehow still ended up with a few catches even though i was simulating through it all as best as i could <laughs> either way though like i said just another last look at our career stats an absolutely insane career in such a short amount of time so a full list of awards here of course we were the 15th pick in that first round of the 2022 draft made the pro bowl in all four of the seasons that we played and then you see i won't list them all off but tons of afc offensive player of the week awards of course we led the league in receptions all four seasons that we played as you see right there and then you see some offensive player and offensive rookie of the year awards of course and best wide receiver able to bring that home every year as well and again that 2024 MVP was our first and then followed that up of course with the 2027 MVP our second of our career just tons of great awards there for Tony never really looked at this but under traits man <laughs> that personality is intense and I'm glad that's what it said as because that's definitely how we would be out there gotta love getting the congratulations out of Canton Ohio getting recognized as one of the best receivers of all time they end up listing us ninth now that we have ended our career other than that though i think that's pretty much it folks we went over you know our awards throughout our career career stats the different records that we were able to set and yeah that's gonna be it for the recap the finale of the Tony Foster Wide Receiver Superstar Mode Series here on Madden 24. Like I said earlier, I appreciate it a lot, all the support that this series has gotten. And again, make sure you stay tuned till the end as I will throw together just at least a few, you know, of our top plays, best moments from the Tony Foster Series. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoy it, of course. And if you do, make sure you slap that like button for me and subscribe to the channel if you are new as we go in to a new journey with ea college football 25 i'll have plenty of road to glory series going and we'll dive into dynasty as well at some point so make sure you are on the lookout for that and that'll do it folks hope you have a nice day peace well folks unfortunately i've been battling for the last few hours all morning and into the afternoon now trying to figure out an audio issue with the you know, best moments that I had thrown together that I was going to have at the end here. And unfortunately, I've done nothing but waste my time. And long story short, I'm just chalking it, man. Not going to be able to get the best moments together for you guys. So the best I'll do for you is in the description, I will link the playlist to the Tony Foster series. So feel free to go back and check any episodes that you missed or any of the old ones from, you know, the Packers days when we had tons of fun. We went on a crazy streak there between i think it was like episode 26 to like 27 and 28 maybe even 29 where we had multiple game winners it was all sorts of wild stuff going on so again i'm sorry i i spent a couple hours getting it done this morning and when i went to throw it at the end the audio was chalked and i tried um, multiple different things and at this point it's just not worth my time and stress so you know We'll just end the series at this, and again, like I said, feel free to go check out any of the old episodes if you want. Plenty of crazy game-winning touchdowns that we've had over our career, crazy four-touchdown games, all sorts of stuff that happened throughout our career, man. So, Again, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Slap the subscribe button as well if you are new. College Football 25 content will be plastered all over this channel in the coming week. It is release week coming up, so... 
I'll be trying to stream a few times as long as everything tests out good there. And then we'll have plenty of videos going up, getting our Road to Glory series going, and diving into some Dynasty stuff as well. Probably expect in the first or probably the second week will be when you see Tony Foster's little brother make his debut on the channel as I will be taking him on the Road to Glory in EA College Football 25. That'll be the second series I do there as Austin Morris, the running back, will be starting up here in a couple of days. So be on the lookout for all that stuff. And yeah, that'll do it. Again, sorry for not being able to get the best moments together, but it's just the way of the road, man. It's just, oh well. Have a nice day. Peace.